Hey, hey everyone, Krellopix here, and today I am starting a new diamond painting. Uh, and this one is going to be an actual rhinestone diamond painting. Finally found one. So it's got the gems and they've got like a silver backing on them and they're round. Very excited about this. So it's going to be very sparkly. And today I thought I would do one of the seasonal ones. So this one is the bamboo one. Get that out of the way. It's long, but it's not a really big piece and it's only a partial. So I don't expect this to take very long. Nowhere near as long as the peacock took, so let's get started. Okay, well, I've got a bit of advice on the rhinestone ones. Whilst they're pretty and cool, um, they wreak havoc on your eyes. <laughs> Maybe it's just uh, my lighting, I'm not too sure, but yeah, I recommend taking breaks. A lot of breaks, just to rest your eyes. <laughs> It's funny, and I'm not going to judge, I'm not going to say all rhinestones are like this, but this particular one doesn't seem very shiny. Like the peacock, the opaque diamonds on the peacock one seemed more sparkly than this one. This seems a little dull for what it is. It's a little weird to be doing diamond painting and not working on the peacock, although I must say I'm very excited to do so. So since this is my first uh, rhinestone diamond painting, 
I'm not sure if this goes across the board for them or if it's just this particular one, but I'm just going to assume that this, that this quality applies only to this particular canvas. Um, there wasn't adhesive on all the necessary parts, so I'm going to have to glue down some of the rhinestones, so that was a bit disappointing. Um, there we go with the elms. A lot of the rhinestones were dull, like they weren't faceted or they just weren't shiny. It looked like frosted glass almost, so I didn't think that would be a good look, especially when all the rest of them are clearly faceted and, and, and are supposed to sparkle. And I've already mentioned this, they don't, I don't think they sparkle very much. But maybe I just need to get it in the sun. I don't know. We'll see what the photo looks like, the end result. Oh, there's also like adhesive on the outer edge, like way past the canvas, like like the actual physical edge of the canvas. There's adhesive, and I'm not I'm not too sure why. <laughs> Other than that, it was a good experience. It is what it is. It was a very cheap piece. Um, I bought it mostly to try out the rhinestone. And yeah, it was a good try. Good. This is also a good beginner project, I think. So if you're looking for something to try, try one of these small ones. It would be good. There were only eight different colors, so it was very easy to switch between them and to get this done very quickly. This project uh, this diamond painting took me approximately two hours to complete. So it was very quick. Better than seven months. <laughs> That's it. It's all done. Woo! It's so nice to do a one shot. 
But here we go. Here it is. This is my first ever rhinestone piece. Um, just doing a stock of bamboo here. And also this is my first ever piece in one hue. So just there's apparently eight shades of green here, although a few of them are so close in shades that I personally cannot tell the difference. So I just had to trust the pattern, right? <laughs> So yeah, this is it. I will have a full photo at the end of the video, of course, but yeah. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this one. Not as epic as the peacock, but fun nonetheless. And yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!